ladies and gentlemen, in the words of my first guest today, flowers are a feast for the soul and everyone deserves a seat at the table. He's an educator. He's the owner of TikTok Florals for over 25 years. He's the youngest inductee into the American Institute of Floral Designers, named top five international florists by the London Financial Times. I chose this song because his flowers and his events tell a story. A rich, immersive experience for each event attendee. One thing for sure, Eddie knows how to entertain. This is so in love theme song, Eddie. Because you are... You are a floral entertainer and a no, lifestyle so entertainer. <laughs> My pleasure. You have to, everybody has to have an introduction. You're so adorable. I just love, you know, we met years ago. First of all, and first and foremost of all, thank you for doing this, not with me, but with everybody else. You oh. are just brightening up everybody's day with all that great positive energy that you're putting out there. You have one that I adore because not only are you intelligent and beautiful, you're so eloquent and, and uh, uh, elegant all the time and sophisticated so that there is this amazing gratitude I have for you. Oh. And, you know, at, like any relationship, it's never a smooth sailing, you know, boat, but it's always best to get to a good place with anybody that you are in your life. You, you know, and it's respect. I have huge respect for you, Eddie. And, and yeah, it's, it's Thank life. you. And this, the, the feeling is very mutual, you know. Oh, that. thank so. you. That means a huge amount, Eddie. You are one of the industry greats. And, you know, when I first started in this, you were very gracious to me. And, and you know, we, I, your work is, is phenomenal. You're very different. Your style is just, you have your own style, your own technique that you have how and i've never asked you this which is why i wanted to do this show it's like how did you get started i don't know that part of your life um so let me let me tell you oh, my lighting is much better because i changed the position when i did a live this morning i look like crap and i was like i can't oh. look like crap i'm gonna be on 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 live with charlie she's gonna be all so beautiful and then i'm gonna come in and it's <laughs> oh my gosh. so you i had to great. rearrange where the iphone was um, how I got started, really, to be honest with you, I was studying to become a chemist, right? No um, yeah, but I've always been fascinated into how TV shows and movies were made, like that whole theatrical part of it. Yeah. Um, and um, I was studying in college to become a chemist. And of course, uh, how can a personality like this be in a in a secluded room with no I people interaction? That's I can't happened. imagine you in a lab coat, you know. Um, but what broke, um, what what triggered me to kind of not pursue that and kind of pursue my passion for design was uh, there was a couple of chemicals that popped into my uh, eyes because I wasn't wearing the, the proper secure goggles for them. Oh. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't have my eyes, like, because my eyes might since I was a young child, that the, the vision of my eyes seeing different places that we traveled with my family and seeing color and architecture and uh, eating all this amazing uh, food from different uh, parts of the world. And mm. I just kind of, um, like, that's probably one of the best things that my parents, I mean, my parents are, are amazing people, but that's one of the blessings yeah. that I was... Uh, I had as as a child growing up is as a family we vacationed for like a one whole month in different parts of the country every year. That's amazing, Eddie. That's an education so, right there. Oh, oh absolutely. Um, wow. And you know, just your your instincts, even when you're dealing with people that you don't even know someone's language, right? Just just the vibration and interaction with somebody, you can pretty much at a younger age start developing some kind of like um, understanding of humans, right? So um, yes, so I started becoming, I, I, I was fascinated by design and the overall things. Uh, I was too young to get into, I didn't even know how to get into the movie industry. Like who would, you know, cause there was like unions and I didn't have a degree and like, how would I get into that? So I didn't even mm -hmm. think about pursuing it. And I started, 
um, I started in the, it's so funny, my evolution is a little funny. I started in the balloon business. Then I, <laughs> then I endeavored, I, I endeavored into gift baskets. Then I went into florals. Then I went into like, you know, designing events, right? Overall designing aesthetic and then working yeah. with a planner. And then now doing, I'm, I'm doing more like creative projects. I'm doing more interior, like when I say interior design, I'm not doing the whole house. I'm doing parts of the house. I'm doing the aesthetics and the styling and kind of curating the look and the feel for the client. Oh, um, and that's your lifestyle brand that you have now. That's the that lifestyle brand. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, as much as I love doing flowers and I've obviously name, uh, made a name for myself, pushing boundaries, I think this brain is so much more creatively that it has, it can't have any boundaries uh, or limitations on what it can use and yeah. cannot use. So this is why I'm in doubt. Like my, my, all my seeds are kind of in different like soils and pots and, you know, uh, containers and they're, everything is growing in the soil kind of differently on different levels, yeah. you know? You're, bring, you're always doing something new with you. You're always, you're such an entrepreneur. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to call you. Like, well, you, you're not just a florist, you're a designer. You do this, you do that. You're teaching. You have your, your own YouTube channel as well. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I started the YouTube channel several years ago because I really wanted people to connect with me on a different level of like, being able to give back and inspire and who are people inspiring to be in the business or people who wanted the, you know, to do it themselves, but they wanted some creative ideas. So that's how I started the channel. Um, I always hated being on camera, always. Um, really? Yeah, know. and I know that I'm a lot natural now. Yes. I feel so yeah. much more comfortable. Um, but in the beginning, if you ever looked at my YouTube videos, in the beginning, I'm very like, hi, this is Eddie Zarazian. <laughs> so I felt when I looked back on the videos, and they were great videos because the content was great, but yeah. I didn't feel, and you know, it's a, it's a life's journey that you go through over the years, right? You, you get to a place and it can be an earlier age or it can be a later, um, uh, date in your, in your, in your life. Um, you you own it you believe yes. in yourself and you let it go and there's yes. nothing you're that happy with you yourself what anybody you don't care about what anybody no. tells. not in a bad way but in it's like you let it go and so i felt yes. like I, I was like you're such a nice guy and then you know because you're a leader you're you know people see you like this mm -hmm. but like where's the in between or where's the real you yeah and yeah. so I had a lot, I took a year off from YouTube because I didn't like, I liked the content, but I didn't like the voice and the image that I was putting on camera. That's so interesting. Yeah, it didn't feel, I didn't feel authentic. I felt like a little bit of Eddie needs to come out. You know, I'm wicked, I'm sarcastic, Cheeky. I'm bitchy, I'm... You know, cheeky. I have to... You're not. We'll call you cheeky in England. You have I'm a, cheeky. an impish, cheeky personality. You know, and, I like to stir the pot sometimes. That. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an instigator. Um, but overall, it comes from good intentions in a good place. And um, I want people to know, even as as a sharp tongue that I have, I want people to know I'm a really sincere and nice person, right? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't care about all the successes that I had, which I'm very fortunate and blessed. I'm not saying, and very, I'm very grateful. Yeah. Um, but there's so much more for me to do, I feel like. You know, I still haven't done all the things that I wanted to do. Yeah. That's why I what, keep on doing these things. Do you have things that you have like bubbling away that you haven't, that you're, you know, we haven't seen yet? Um, there is something that I'm launching really, really, really soon, and no one knows mm -hmm. it. So you're like getting the first exclusive. <laughs> I um, love it. Uh, is right before Mother Mother's Day, we are going to be able to ship flowers. So you'll get a box of 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 blooms that I specially picked. It's it's going to be maybe three or four varieties of things. Um, and, and we're finalizing that right now. And if you order before, on or before Monday of that week, then we should be able to get um, 
everything uh, delivered to mothers uh, on Friday or before Friday. That's fantastic. Now, is that internationally or is that within it's the It's going to be only United States based, unfortunately, for right now. And okay. Because there's a lot of logistics. See, the flower, the flower industry took a really big hit right now because yes, it went from like doing like this to going like this. And so yes. everybody's trying to find out right like level of like where do you get your products? So I'm, I'm constantly talking to um, importers and exporters and growers and brokers and, you know, I'm having conversations because mm -hmm. I, I don't see how people, like for me, I'm a little upset because like food is an essential, marijuana is an essential business, alcohol mm -hmm. is an essential business that these businesses are open and yet the floral industry, which there's so many great florists here in Los Angeles, yes. they're shut down, right? And yes. so, you know, there's a lot of people that are out of work because of this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like flowers are such an essential part of living, plants and flowers in, 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 in general. Like, you know, you get food for the, for the stomach. I always say you get flowers yes. for the soul. Right. Yeah, like the, like when, when I first opened your words that I found picked up on your website was flowers are a feast for the soul and everyone deserves a seat at the table. I thought that was beautiful, which is why I opened with that because it's it is it really is flowers make you happy. They do, and so there's an emotional um, like uh, attachment to flowers, whether you receive them or you give them right mm -hmm. even when you're sending it to somebody that gratification that you get when you're sending it to someone and that person opening up the package or receiving that package yeah. and then they feel so loved it doesn't matter what's inside the package it just becomes the thought of it but yeah then you see that it's flowers and they're pretty and you know it's a living thing even though if it's temporary it's a such a beautiful feeling like yeah. i live with flowers every day so even if you don't receive packages you know, if you do live in a in a home, look out in the in the park, in nature, in your own garden. Clip them, put them in your yes. house. You know, uh, that's what I try like to do every day: is put a flower, a rose, something from my garden in my house, just to make me smile. And and in the good old days, men used to send flowers to woo ladies. You know, in the good old days. Well, and I think ladies send it to men now, so I think yeah. it's the reverse, right? So it's it like. Is trying to get uh, their attention Hello. It, it, it's, it's, it's like it's not enough with the instagram and their and, and their portfolios but anyways yes so um i was gonna say so with the with the issues going on with flat with flowers around the world do you think that this is going to make a, a huge difference on pricing and costing next year for weddings and events you know this is a question that i um we don't even know if it's going to even affect it within when the 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 the, the industry opens up and is actually doing events, right? We're hoping that mm. uh, in September, this would be completely, um, you know, we're, we, you know at, at that point, we would, I think, start with weddings in September. I mean, this thing will hopefully be over. Um, but if you're thinking about, we're, we're, we're almost, if it's September, we're almost in the nine month. We're already three quarters into the year with no events, right? Yep. Um, and so, we don't even know how the suppliers, we don't know if any growers are going to go out of business. What is, yeah. you know, not having frequent flights for airplanes from internationally might, you know, you, we don't know if gasoline is going to go up in price. So there's so many variables that we are not.